Mother whose two toddlers drowned in a swimming pool at a friend's home is facing a judge today. A marijuana growing operation was discovered after those children died. 10 News reporter Marcia, or Mar Maria, I should say, Arcega Dunn is live at the El Cajon Courthouse with the early developments in this tragic case. Maria? Well, Bill, Tassie Ann Behrens is in court right now. She is emotional. She's wiping away tears. And she's listening to testimony against her about the day that her toddlers died. The mother of two is charged with child endangerment, cultivation, and possession of marijuana for sale. In May of this year, Barons woke up at a home where she was staying in La Mesa and found her 16 month old daughter, Harley Bradford, and two year old son, Jason Bradford Jr., floating in the backyard pool. She went out the, uh, to the back patio that overlooks the, uh, the backyard and saw the uh, children face down in the pool. Police say Barron's pulled the toddlers out of that pool and took them to a nearby fire station. They later died at Rady's Children's Hospital. Barron's initially told authorities the children were found in a pool at a mobile home park, then later admitted she found them at her friend's home, Larry D'Angelo. Barron's admitted to lying about where the kids were found, saying she wanted to protect her friend from getting into trouble for not having a fence around the pool. But homicide detectives and the narcotics task force searched D'Angelo's home, who is also in court as we speak, and discovered a marijuana to grow in the basement. Now, if Barron's is convicted, she could face more than 13 years in prison. We're live in El Cajon. Maria Arcega Dunn, 10 News.